before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment Gus down below. This is my golden doodle Gus, man, and he is a year old today. He still thinks he's a baby, by the way. You can see he's just sitting in my lap thinking that he's just... Like, look, he top dog right now. Look at the resemblance, boy. He almost got dread like your boy. Why look at that right now? But anyway, comment Gus down below. That's going to do a couple of things for y'all. Number one, you're not going to win, Gus. So we're going to get him up out of here. Get up out of here. Go ahead. You're not going to win, Gus. But what you could win is $50 in cash out or $50 in VC today. Or I will buy you a copy of any game that you want within reason. Long as it's the extra regular ass edition. Number two, at the end of the month, Last month, we did not reach the 10K views. We did, however, reach 8.5. So I want to give away this next gen console so badly. If we can just reach 8K views, I'm going below the last month average. We had 8.5 last month. We can average 8, 8K views this month. We're giving away the next gen console. It could be a PlayStation, it could be an Xbox, it could be whatever you want. It doesn't matter what it is. Number three, bots back in town. I'm not giving away iPads, I'm not giving away uh, a lot of stuff like that. I might even buy y'all a laptop though if y'all don't want the next gen console. I'll buy you a laptop that's 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 around the same thing. You know, three three to five hundred dollars or something. I'll do that too. Uh help you out with your setups and stuff. I'll do whatever y'all want to, you know, within reason on that joint. So y'all let me know what you would rather have. But uh we got to average eight K views and I got y'all on that so like the video comment gus down below we got some videos that are underperforming for this month if this is your first video go back and like those because that increases your chances exponentially and with all that out of the way oh yeah the bots the bots are back in town ignore the bots man i i, I don't have none of that i got instagram twitter and black planet i don't have telegram and my phone number doesn't start with 888 888 down there uh whatever and with all that out of the way good morning out there in 2k land man hey first right off the bat the boy grinding says would you rather take a million dollars right now or ten thousand dollars a month until you die now the average person is gonna add that up and say well shoot i'm gonna take the 10k a month until i die because after eight years that that will reach maturity and it'll out it'll start outpacing that million dollars but i feel like if you give me a million dollars right now I guarantee by the time that I, I'll make it dwarf that 1 million off the 10, 10K a month in eight years. I bet I can do that. I bet I could turn 10 million, I mean 1 million into two or three, at least two or three million uh, by the time that the that joint reached maturity. I feel like I could turn it into 10, but you know, it just is what it is. I, I don't know. I just feel like that. But one thing I do know, I know I can make it make me more. I can make it make me more than 10k a month so by the time even if i just made 20k you know by the time we got you know i'll be at 3 million or something like that so that's how i feel about it but at the same time you could take the safe route and say look i'm gonna take the uh i'm gonna take the 10k a month because as we know on that you know you don't have to do nothing and you know it's guaranteed and you know like i said i, I can understand it either way but me i'm gonna take the gamble i'm gonna take the risk gamble on myself and i'm gonna do that and, and get that joint take the same gamble the same risk the same way that i took it on myself with breeze tees because y'all probably wonder where i got this shirt from this is where i got the shirt from right here my dog look on the site go link is in the description breeze tees shameless plug up next though, but like I said, I also got several businesses and stuff like that and irons in the fire, so you know, I got that. That's what I think. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Would you take the million straight up or just take the 10K and be set for life pretty much? Um, you know, that's 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 a lot of money too. I don't think you could go wrong, but for me, I'm investing that joint. I'm probably gonna get some property, get some real estate, buy a few houses or something like that. You know, buy, well, use it as collateral for me to extend my lending power and then get a couple properties and, and stuff like that and then you know we just gonna rent them joints out and you might be straight but you know in this real estate economy who know anyway up next we got that boy quavo says is it me or does 2k23 feel like 2k18 i'm gonna say nah it don't feel like 2k18 to me it feels a lot more like 2k20 i really feel like uh because because on this one it's a lot to, it's, it's not harder to score but it's not as easy to score as previous 2Ks. And if you can play defense and figure out how to play defense, defense is really, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's something that, that's really big in the game. So it's not the hugest thing, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, uh, it's more 2 k 20 to me. And it could just be because of how tough it is to score. But uh, like, cause 18 was just a fiasco. I mean, it was just, if you had a pure sharp, he was shooting from half court and that just was it right there. So I, I don't know. Um, and it was really 
Defense wasn't really a thing in 18, but you know, that's just my opinion right here. Up next, we got the boy Laker fan with this tweet, man, with this comment. This is how people be in the comment section right here. Uh, I don't know what Laker fan said or what he said. He was something about crabbing or whatever, but Lucifer Morning, first of all, we're not going to even say that name on here, but he said, <clears throat> Dear Laker fan, I tried to get crying brute. He crazy. He was gonna charge me ten thousand for this, and I, I mean, I only got a five to a five dollar budget for this video, so you know it is what it is. We already paid Gus the dog, so that's why we get. So we gotta do. Uh, we gotta do fake J on this one. <clears throat> Crabbing is a skill. Is a skill based thing. Are you kidding me, like a fan? Crabbing is an exploit. <laughs> when when have you ever? been watching an NBA game or been out in the park or seen something somebody forcing you to crab move stop it bro I swear to god you lost points you lost mad points saying dumb freaking ish and y'all know what I'm gonna say to that shut the f up shut the f up. Bro, come on, man. Now, crabbing in this old iteration, it was not something that was realistic where you could just bounce back and forth until you forced it to the game. The game's inability to deal with two objects, main, main, you know, occupying a spot at the same time and express, instead of expressing it as the, the smaller entity getting bumped off, which is always the guard, it would, it would express it as the displacement of of, of a player or what have you. So it will put you behind the player that was actually moving. So that that was not realistic. But the way that it is now, when you get somebody on your hip and you slow down like CP3 and then you go scoop layup or you go to that rim and get on that rim, hey man, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's uh, completely legitimate. Now you can still crab somebody every now and then on this joint, but crabbing as it is this year, I think it is more of a skill than an exploit. Last year it was just an exploit. You just, you just bounce back and forth until it happened. This year you actually gotta try or the defender has to be trying to trying to press you, and then in which case they'll slide behind you. So I think it's more skill based this uh, this one. Um, last year and in previous years, it was definitely 100% an exploit. But blinders don't work like it used to, so you know it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy EJ saying, "Ain't no, ain't no way you're going back to 2K22." Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a bad DMX reference. But anyway, ain't no way y'all going, y'all went back to 2K22 already. Y'all getting bored of the new 2K or what? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep it a, keep it a stack or, or whatever. The girl Jada said, uh, uh, you know, go, logo Jada said, uh, once, once Brutal Sim once said, people can't adapt. And pretty much same thing I said, I can't cope with that. Nope. No way, no, they can't cope with that. Ha! That, no, no, can do. And hey, they just can't cope with it, man. If you can't cope with it and you can't do it, I understand. Go back to the old game. Do whatever you want to do. We did, like people said, we did it in COD for years. We did this. But don't try to sit here and tell me that's what I should be doing too because it's a better game and all that. Because 2K22 was in no way, shape, form, or fashion a better game than this one. You're not going back because you feel like it's a better game. Let's just get out of there. You feel like it was a better game game for you and the two things can be true if it's a better game for you because i was a god at that game do your thing but otherwise like don't don't try to if you try to convince me that 2k22 was a better game than 21 you know what i'm gonna tell you shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you telling me a game where you can left right infinitely and fade everywhere fade everything quick drop get on that rim infinite burst and you can and clamps clamps don't really work like that in this game but it didn't work at all in that game you can just dribble right into somebody's chest and you're gonna slide off of him and do and you telling me that that's a better game for then, then nah yeah i mean it probably is to you if you don't but anyway let's get down to the beat because it's getting spicy out there boy no pun intended i woke up to this this morning that boy po boy sin said i'm back in my own lane made mistakes responding to a little boy that then continue to respond uh to to nonsense clown behavior that's mb got to uh gotta continue to watch what i give i mean what i give my energy to only thing i won't allow is disrespect on my on my make or fatherhood and even then i need to ignore it that's a fact i was looking like hey that's a fact that's that's really big big growth big energy and all that same thing i said yesterday people try to talk about stuff and then we always we always respond to the detractors more than we respond to the supporters and that's not right and we should never do that but then i saw this I saw IQ Contain come back and act that boy. He said, ooh, it gets spicy. Hold on, I'm gonna say, this gets spicy in this bitch. 
Hey, he's saying, I don't know why you're referring to me as a little boy. Dang, he like, he's saying that like, hey, look, hold on. First of all, I can't be clout chasing because I'm just a new, I'm, I'm, I'm like investigative brute. I just report the news, man. Y'all would have never known about this. I'm just giving y'all the news and the information. I can't be clout chasing. All I'm doing is, is reporting the news. So don't blame the messenger. Just, bl you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get back into it. Cause I don't know why you're referring to me as a little boy. There is so, there is still mutual respect. If you don't want, if you don't want there to be any, that's fine, but it's nothing wrong. I made a tweet hyping up uh, a matchup as most other content creators would, and I went about my day. I'll leave it at that. Woo, y'all boy, boy, we're getting spicy up in that joint. And then somebody put this up and I'm talking about that boy clout chasing. Now, I had to go back and kind of find out what was going on, right? And I said, well, shoot, uh, let me go back. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I had to hit the way back machine and go back in time. And then this is what I saw. Hey, he had, he just put out a, a tweet or whatever. He said, IQ Contain versus Pope West saying, who do you think won? That's what sparked it all off. It was 0-0 zero, zero at that time. I don't think he really, you know, everything was 0-0. Zero, zero. There was everything. It was all zeros. I'm gonna do it like that. Bam. It was all 0-0 zero, zero at that time. Nothing, nothing had uh, popped off to that point. Then Sin says, you really posted this. Aha, uh, a L O L or whatever like that. So that's when it started getting going right there. And then, uh, then this is what IQ said. I have a serious question for you. How? Uh, somebody said when he said it was clout chasing, clout chasing. I got a serious question for you. How am I clout chasing by posting a matchup against another content creator in match making a, in a match making event? There's no answer to give because it just ain't true. Listen to both sides before you generate a final opinion, my boy. And that's what I did because I was like, you know, at first I'm like, yeah, people gonna always try to do this and do that. And they're gonna always try to get mad at stuff and stuff. But you know, I'm trying to listen to the whole thing. So that's what we're doing right here. And then one person said, uh, Slime, he said, he had the level headed joint, man. He just said, y'all both are good people. Y'all can't be doing this, especially over a 1v1 game. Y'all just chill and keep it moving forward. Y'all can't be arguing over something small like this just leave it alone y'all stay safe and be blessed to me that's the best take on it right there that's the best take on it right there and i i mean i really don't understand it because it's just a game and it was a matchmaking game like he pulled up on him or something like that and said pulled up with the intent to try to make some type of exposed video then finally played him and it was on the cold ring for 90 percent of the game and then scored like two points and then you know what i'm talking about posted the video you know what I'm talking about now that that would be that would be some bitch shit but I, I don't know who would ever do something like that. Anyway, so he says, uh, wasn't arguing, wasn't arguing at all. Like I said, I thought we had mutual respect that we don't, um, that we don't now. That I know, now that I know, that I know, now that I know that I know how to move. That's what he tried to say, bro. Sometimes when you try to read what other people write, you try to read it like they said it, but you know it is what it is. And I can understand that he said ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with it. Then the boy IQ contained boy came back and said, it's literally just an upload for the purposes of being a content creator against another content creator. Y'all know, like the good old days. Number one, it's matchmaking. Number two, tweeting isn't the isn't the tweet isn't even directed at you at all. Number three, I have nothing but respect for you, so carry on with your grind. And uh, you know, Sin came back and he just said, you know, he said for me, it's the fact that it's the fact that the it's the I, bro, it's hard for me to read this. For me, it's the fact that that is the fact you came into you came into my live stream telling me to go crazy, keep grinding. We should run sometimes to, oh, you went from doing that to uploading the gameplay of us just running around on a 6-1, uh, and I had no intentions at all. That's my stream of posting you even if I won. And so, you know, hey, then somebody came back and said, they said, you see them talking about you did the same thing to Steezo, blah, 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 uh, all that. And I think this was coming up next. The dude said, I fuck with you, uh, saying, but, yep, everything got the butt is bullshit. That's what my mama told me. But anyway, uh, but nothing wrong with somebody posting the gameplay of playing you. I don't know the backstory if he's if he said something weird to you about it, but there's nothing wrong with content creators posting a match, uh, posting a match against each other. The viewers like that. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the truth. That's why people was liking, that's why the wager culture was big. That's why people used to like, you know, used to be disport. That's why the pull-up culture was big and all of that. Because the people that were onlookers or the people that's fans and stuff, they, they want to feel like I backed this person because he's one of the best. And I want him to go out there and prove he the best. 
And if he play, if they play each other, it really doesn't mean anything because we all know what's going on. I mean, it's just two people playing each other. Sometimes people want to see good games and all that good stuff. But, you know, it really just depends on what the situation is, what y'all relationship is like. And I feel like if y'all got that type of relationship, it's cool. Like, if I were to pull up on Brood and play him, then I would probably post it, like, like in a joking manner or something like that. But then that's not even us. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like we would probably... We would probably do it to each other or set something up like that, like we was beefing and I pulled up on him, blah, blah, blah. but like I, I couldn't see it because to me, if you ask me, the whole thing is corny. Pulling up on somebody is corny, um, playing, posting, all that stuff. I don't even know who I'm beating most of the time. Even sending somebody that T T in the end of the thing, all that stuff to me, that's corny. But that doesn't mean that that's not what the community likes. So just because I got a difference of opinion on it, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't mean that everybody gonna think the same way and I don't expect them to. And he says the community has gone downhill uh, that people think I'm clout chasing. I, 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 I mean, clout chasing for uploading a 1v1 versus sin in a matchmaking event. I, I can agree with that, man, because that's when the community was lit, when all the content creators were playing each other and uh, people was doing stuff like that. Then he said, somebody says, you did the same stuff to Steeso, so be quiet. But again, again, seeing explain this. He and Steezo got that type of relationship where Steezo said, if you don't want me to post it, I won't post it. And then Sin said, he was like, at first I was like, nah, I don't post it. You can't post that, whatever. Then he said, this is what he said, not what I'm saying. He said, then I said, you know, I ain't want nobody to think I was in my feelings and that. And then once I got over it and stuff, I told him, man, go ahead and post it and get that bread. Then he reacted to the video of Steezo. And I think Steezo video did did like two, two something on it. And Sin video did almost 100K. So obviously this is the thing that people want to see. But nobody just wants to be, uh, you know, at the end of it. And then that boy IQ Katain, he really just, he really just said, "Hey man, I'm gonna speak on. Let me speak on this." And this is what he had to say. Saying, and I'm leaving it at that. It's not a big deal. It's just not. I posted a screenshot of me versus you, sin zero to zero. I am not planning on posting this video just because it's against you. It is against a big content creator in the community, an OG to the 2K community, and it's just a matchup that I feel like people might want to see. I don't need to hit you up for external validation. I don't need to do any of that. But for you to say that I'm reaching, talking about posting a YouTube video and all that, but you just put up a tweet talking about how you're gonna play it for your stream and then you dropped a stream link saying, go come watch the game. Like, bro, that's just weird. Like, respect between content creator versus content creator, bro. I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing that for any of this. I don't know why people like to attack me in the community. I don't know if I'm an easy target, whatever. And people think I start beef with content creators on purpose. Bro, I don't be saying anything. I be chilling out the way. I don't get it, bro. What's the big deal? But if you want to play for some money, we can do that. Bang! You know what happened in 2K22. Bang! We'll leave it at that. Ooh, that boy IQ Contain went there on that last little part right there. Boy, that boy said, if you want to, ooh, it ain't that big of a deal, my G. But if you want to play for some of that motherfucking bread, you want to play for that bread, though, let's do it. And you already know how that went. Yeah! See, I was with your IQ until it got, at the end it got a little bit spicy. That man said, put that bread up, otherwise shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Nah, I'm just joking, man. I gotta have fun with this because it ain't too much going on in the 2K community, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Was he wrong? He didn't post a video. He just posted a screenshot trying to hype it up saying, hey, I'm about to play Sin. This is going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? And I, th I guess it just went left. But again, you have to know the type of relationship that you have with somebody. Um, I mean, me, if that's somebody that I felt like I respected and stuff, I would hit them up first and say, hey, you got an issue with me posting this. But, you know, we'll see how it goes, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Uh, also, make sure y'all drop the uh, drop a like and uh, comment Gus at the end of your comment for your chance to win. We're going to do that drawing today, and I'm going to holler y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.